Today I want to talk about anchors in our life. An anchor is something that holds you down, it gives you support. So an anchor can be a situation or it can actually be a person or people that strengthen or provide support for you. The first kind of anchor I want to talk about is a love anchor because love anchors us into the world. Without love we wouldn't have the happiness we have, we wouldn't have the support, we wouldn't have the beautiful connections we have. And so when you are going through something quite difficult, love can actually be your anchor because love is a thoroughfare that you can use to get into relationships, to get support, to give support even. Because not only can you be an anchor for someone else, they can also be an anchor for you. It can be a two-way thing. Anchors are normally used or needed when it's rough, <laughs> when it's we're in stormy seas. And love is an anchor that can help us to navigate, have hope and somehow get through the situation less uh, damaged than if we were on our own. In my life, I'd like to talk about and think about the heart anchor. Around me there are people who are my anchor of the heart. These are people who I know I can always go to. Sometimes they will be in your family, sometimes they will be friends. But you just always know that, that they will anchor you. It's a heart connection that you have with them. And even though you might have other heart connections with certain people, they might not actually anchor you in life. Perhaps they are different personalities or they have a different um, ideas or values. However, the heart anchor that you will find with people is genuine and very, very consistent. A person who is a heart anchor will usually be with you for a very long time, if not your lifetime. And I think it would be really good for all of us to actually have a look at who's around us. And if we had to write down who are the heart anchors, we would then feel our life is more rich. I can tell because they're the people that I think to ring, or I want to see, or I wish I could talk to when things are really bad or difficult. Not because I want them to save me, and not because I want them to sort out my life. It's just that when I'm with them, I feel more anchored emotionally. It's a very, very powerful thing, the heart anchor. We have this within our families because we have the family anchor. The family can be there and anchor us during really difficult times when we really have to weather some of life's tragedies or traumas, illness. And the family as a whole, can do this it can anchor us because these are people we know very very well and even if we've had difficulties within families it doesn't usually matter during this time because everyone will still be a, an anchor in a form that they can be they won't all be the same anchor but they will all provide something that they can do some people will speak to you some people will ring you a lot some people will be very practical and do things for you some people just listen and other people will give you gifts or presents to try and make you happier. Some people in the heart family connection will also try to make you laugh. They can often be at the comic and that's also anchors people down because it makes you strong, it gives you strength because you can see the joy or the joke around it. People in families are also work anchors. Sometimes one member more than the other will be the one who provides more money or perhaps they are the one who works more full time. Often it is shared in these times. However, there will be times, especially when babies are being born or if someone is ill or maybe people are changing jobs or studying, that someone will become the work anchor and they will be the one who anchors you and your relationship or family during that time. It's quite an important role, that one. I always think that if we could understand who is our anchor and who we, who we are the anchor for, with other people our life would be much more clear I think it would also be less disappointing because you can't think that everyone's going to be your anchor just because you tend to anchor a lot of other people you need to understand that you might anchor 20 people and someone else might anchor none or three but if you see them as the anchor all the time for you just because you anchor back you will find that it's not really a two-way situation 
tragedy, trauma, loss, illness, all bring it to the fore very, very, very strongly who is there and as an anchor and who perhaps isn't going to play that role. You can also be abandoned by people during certain times. They won't be there to help you anchor, but perhaps in another time in their life they will be. It can be a fluctuating thing. It's important for you to decide what you want to do with certain people in terms of being the anchor. I think it's a very good thing to be an anchor for someone because you give them stability and you give hope and you listen and you give support during a difficult time for them. However, you also need to consider what's happening in your life and not become too overwhelmed. And ultimately, everyone has their path to walk. The, the anchoring is a very interesting concept. Once I started looking at who were my heart anchors, who were the major anchors in my family and friend group, it made a lot more sense to me. It also helped me understand why I was drawn to certain people so intuitively. I suppose I knew that if I rang them and talked to them, they would actually literally be there for me to anchor me, give me hope. I think the anchor will hold. That's what it does. It holds during this time. You can also be your own anchor if you start to think of anchoring yourself, grounding yourself, giving yourself a sense of hope. For example, this will pass. I will be okay. You can anchor yourself quite a lot. People don't think of anchoring themselves very much, but I feel it's a very useful skill to have. It's about holding yourself in your space, being grounded and holding on strong. Just so while you're waving around, you know, you don't actually lift off and disappear into the ethos, you know, and never be seen again. But sometimes I think we need to anchor ourselves quite a lot. Another word for anchoring is when people call a friend or someone they know their anchor they'll often call them their rock and a rock is something that you can hold on to a rock will give you stability the hope you have too that you either give to others that you can get through this that you will be all right regardless of what happens we can come through this process whether you're saying it to others or to yourself this is the hope and hope gives you a kind of anchor it makes you feel that there is a perhaps optimistic way to look at things it also helps you realize that with hope comes a strength in your personality maybe you become a more courageous person or make another person see that they are courageous and brave and so I think this is part of learning how to become a better person and teaching others how to anchor themselves or to be an anchor for others. It isn't really an age thing. You will find some people in their early part of their life just naturally can become anchors for others. Other people who are much older never really become anchors for others. There is a correlation in my mind that if you know how to anchor yourself, you will actually know how to anchor other people. I notice that people who can't anchor other people are not very well anchored themselves and their life is often in disarray and they cannot always be steady and calm. And that's what being anchored means, that the ship is as calm as steady as can be while the storms and the rain and the sleet and the snow are all about. I suggest that this week perhaps you make a list of all the people who are your heart anchors. I think you could make a list of any people who are the work anchors. And these people might be someone like your dad who is an anchor for you because he comes and helps you with your garden or your mum who helps you with your cooking even though you're a grown up. It doesn't always have to be that the work anchor is someone who actually just simply works. It can be someone who comes and provides some sort of stability in your life by providing their gift. The other thing is to look at yourself and how you can anchor yourself better in the world so that you can weather the storms more easily and not fall over without being able to get up again. I've had to do that quite a lot the last 18 months but it has made me actually stronger. I hope you've 
can feel that your life is richer now where you see all your anchors around you and also that it's richer because now you will work at anchoring yourself more and more. I suggest you do this work when things are not really terrible because then when you actually come into that space where it is more difficult you will have those skills. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. I actually found it really cool to talk about this because it's something that's close to my heart. Uh, Have a good week and I send love to all of you.